Our business has gotten so successful, we have so many customers, we've decided that it is time to assign them customer numbers. To do that, rather than me having to figure out these numbers out of thin air, I'm going to use my RAND and RAND between functions to go ahead and generate a list of random numbers. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I've already got my column for the customer number. I go up to my formulas tab and we will see that I open up to the all category, but when I select my list, rand and rand between are under the math and trig category. So we'll click there and we can scroll down. There they are, rand and rand between. We'll start with rand. We'll select that and choose OK, and well, look at that. We don't have to do or enter in anything. We just have to hit OK, and there's my random number. Let me double click there to go ahead, and there are my, well, and you're looking and you say, well, Bill, they all, huh, they're all less than one. Maybe that's not exactly what I want. Maybe I want more numbers, less numbers, whatever. Well, that's random. That's the that's about as random as we can get. So we're going to change instead of using rand. We're going to use rand between so we can control a little more easily what our numbers are going to be. But I want to show you this. Now I'm going to go ahead. I've got my list. Take a good look at this first number: zero point five five four one seven eight one five five. Remember that. Write it down. No, just kidding. Just remember a little bit. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to pick another cell. Maybe I'm going to go here. Maybe I'm going to go here. Maybe I'm going to do, oh, look at that. See what happened? My number changed. Let's do that again. Changed again. Changed again. Whenever I double click somewhere in another cell and then click again, it's changing all of my numbers. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. It's because my formula result is volatile. So you have to be careful about that. If you don't want those numbers changing, you're going to have to copy and paste values only. And we talked about that in our paste special video, but I'm going to show you again. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of these first, though. And look at our rand between. Now we said before, rand and rand between were under our math and trig category, so we'll go there. Rand between. Now rand between gives us a top and a bottom. So let's say that we want all of our account numbers to start with 301 and we'll go 0001. But we still want it to stay with 301, but we'll give it 9999999. Okay. And there's our random number. Let's double click to get our autofill. And there's our list of account numbers. Now they've all started with 301, which was what we wanted, but the rest of them are all randomly generated. Now, the same thing that happened before, though, see that? Whenever I double click somewhere in a cell, they change because they are also volatile. And just like I told you we would do, we're going to go ahead and paste the values to keep that from doing it <laughs> once, uh, once we've got some numbers we like. So let's go back to our home, copy, paste values. Get rid of these. And simply drag these over. And there we go. And that is RAND and RAND between. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to Train Signal's YouTube channel, Train Signal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.